Hello, welcome back to our online lab series. In this video, we will be demonstrating experiment number 5. The name of the experiment is Voltage Regulation and Efficiency of a Single Phase Transformer. In this experiment, we have two objectives. Our first objective is to determine the voltage regulation of a single phase transformer, whereas the second objective is to determine the efficiency of a single phase transformer. This transformer will be used in this experimentation. As you can see, it has three windings. The left side winding will be used as the primary, whereas the right side top winding will be used as the secondary. The third winding will not be used at all in this experimentation. This table shows us the nameplate data of the transformer. For example, the turns ratio, primary and secondary rated voltages and currents. This is the experimental setup to investigate the voltage behavior of the single phase transformer while it is loaded with the resistive load. Here, the channels A and C of the isolation amplifier are used to measure the primary and secondary currents of the transformer. Whereas primary and secondary voltages are measured using channel B and channel E respectively. Like previous experiments, before making the connection, we have to check the safety fuses whether they are working or not. While doing the KC settings, we must have to select the RMS values as we are dealing with the AC quantities in this experimentation. Also, we will be selecting manual recording as per the guideline. So now we pass to uh, the third part of this experiment which is supposed to be the loading of the, uh, of the transformer. Now, each transformer has current, rated current on primary, rated current on secondary. So when you load, load, load the transformer, actually you have to be careful about the voltage, the current, and the power. So you should not overrate the transformer in a way that uh, the uh, transformer should not heat up and then you end up having protection problems and so on. So the only thing that we did now is that we are connecting actually the resistive load uh, the three branches are connected in parallel, and that makes actually a capability to draw more current. So our experiment today is to go for step-by-step -step measurements. We're going to start from high resistance and step-by-step -step till uh, from 100% to uh, 30%. Here we have collected already 14 points, which is uh, uh, very good data for very good curves. Then. So at every point we have a uh, power factor is changing, the current is changing, and then the voltage is slightly affected because of the drop inside the transformer, and that makes actually the voltage regulation is ready to be uh, calculated. Great, so this experiment is meant for uh, actually measuring uh, for each value of resistance the primary current, the uh, primary voltage, primary power factor, uh, secondary voltage, secondary current, and secondary power factor. Of course, you can easily, now later on in your report, estimate your power, P1, P2, and then the losses, ultimately, and the voltage regulation. From this experimentation, we have measured primary and secondary voltages, currents, and power factors. Now, using the formula available in the manual, we have to calculate P1, P2, efficiency, and voltage regulation of the single-phase transformer. Then we need to plot V2 versus I2, efficiency versus I2, and voltage regulation versus I2. Now, from the efficiency versus I2 plot, you need to determine the value of I2 corresponding to maximum efficiency. For verification, you can also calculate I2 using short circuit power, open circuit power, and rated secondary current. Finally, we will investigate the voltage behavior of the single phase transformer with inductive load. Replacement of the resistive load with the inductive load is the only difference of this experimental setup with the previous one. Now we are actually in the last stage of the experimentation and we are supposed now to run uh, the transformer under lagging load or inductive load. Of course it has a little resistance but still it is in, ma in majority is a re reactive load. The objective of this type of experiment is to go for voltage regulation and see also the losses at later stage. So the first part was to uh, actually measure uh, the open circuit voltage. Then uh, we, uh, we actually switched to the inductive load. Now for the first uh, load, we have the three sets of inductors which are in parallel. The first set is at uh, six Henry and we have here three, three uh, parallel of six, so it makes two Henry. Then the second set is uh, for uh, 4.8. 
And uh, since we have 4.8 and 3 of them, that means uh, 4.8 4 by 3. And for the last test, it's supposed to be for 2.4. And this is the connection where we should go for. And then we have the three parallel inductors. These inductors will give us a total inductance of 0.8 Hamilton. Uh, that will actually give us different voltage, different current, different power factor and then you'll end up having different voltage regulation for this transformer. Now, the main issue for the transformer, uh, there are three major issues. The uh, voltage regulation is one important issue. The losses is an important issue, and then consequently, of course, the losses. If you, if you talk about losses, then you talk about efficiency. So these are uh, two major issues. And then the drop inside, which is linked directly to the voltage regulation. That's it for this experimentation. Now, uh, to illustrate about the results obtained to using Cassie, uh, the first line here stands for uh, the first inductance uh, measurement, which is uh, for 6, uh, 6 Henry. The second line is for 4.8 Henry. And the, line, the last one is for 2.4, of course, parallel, 2.4, 2.4, and 2.4. The last one is for open circuit uh, voltage. So that will summarize and give you a very, uh, 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 very, very good uh, data for four cases in order to evaluate the voltage regulation. That should be enough, and uh, that's it. Similar to the previous part, here we also have measured and calculated quantities. Now we need to plot V2 versus I2, efficiency versus I2, and voltage regulation versus I2. That's all. Good luck for your report.